Hello, Gemini. Welcome back to your monthly Zodiac readings. This is Risa here. I trust you guys are having a wonderful July and have done some fun stuff during this month in the summer if you are in the States and are gearing up for August. Today we're going to take a little peek if your moon, sun, or rising sign is in the sign of Gemini. This is your video. All right, remember, guys, if you would like a private reading with me, please contact me via my email. You can reach me at riseshealingarts11 at gmail.com. There should be something down there that shows you how to spell that. All right, guys, without further ado, let's get to it. Let's see what the Major Arcana is going to be for your sign during the month of August. And you have the Fool, so the beginning of something new, something that makes you want to just take a leap of faith and say, you know what, I'm going to go for it. I don't even have to bring anything with me. I'm just going to head out and do the specific thing that I have been trying to accomplish in my life. Or perhaps it's just setting out on a whole new path that you have never embarked on before. But you are really giving it a shot this time because you are overcoming your fears and you are allowing the divine to guide you. And you're not afraid of the pitfalls, even though there's always going to be some setbacks, obstacles, pitfalls. But you're saying, you know what, I know spirit has my back and I'm just going to go for it without hesitation. I'm just going to head out and go into this particular direction because i it's the way my heart is calling. So being innocent about it and just following a divine life calling. It is your life path, so venture out, Gemini. Don't be afraid. For some of you, this could be a person that steps into your life as well to assist you. This person may be homosexual, but still a person with very good intentions towards you. They could also just represent a new love interest in your life, so keep that in mind as well. Your conscience is always going to be there. Your guides are always going to be there to protect you. And you're going to have enough to sustain yourself. So just keep moving forward. You're, you're making the right decision, in other words. All right. You also have the two of Ariel that's supporting that, that movement forward. It's important to have balance. Working multiple jobs or projects at once. And making work fun. So even though you are at this moment feeling like your whole world is going upside down because you're making so many changes that are going to be so important in your life, you're still having fun while you're doing it. And you're going to make your finances balance out to where you can pay a little here, pay a little there, and keep moving forward, chasing your dreams. All right. Be authentic to who you are. So if there's something that you have been holding back when it comes to romance or when it comes to uh, partnerships, it's time to open up. It's time to just let the world know who you are. Be your authentic self. So this person that you are trying to get to know or this person that you are talking to or perhaps even your romantic partner at this time can really get to see what makes you tick, can really get to see what, what your heart is all about, what your soul really is doing at this time with that particular person or how you're moving forward towards the person of your dreams. You're asked to be real and true pertaining to who you are and how you feel about certain people. If you are in a romantic relationship and you really don't uh, feel that it's something that can last, it's time for you to be your authentic self and please let that person know. If you are in a relationship that you feel is going to last forever, that you are always going to feel that way about that person, then it's time for you to let them know that as well. If there's someone new that you're just talking to and you really haven't revealed yourself, please do. You're being asked to reveal yourself to those around you so they can make deeper bonds with you and really get to know who you truly are. It's going to be a blessing for you during this time. You're going to receive a message, whether it comes via email, via mail, via another person, via your telephone. Please check because there could be a message also pending that you have not seen yet. But this message is going to bring about a lot of change. Remember, you do have new beginnings that are going to set you on a new path. And this message might as well be what does it. Or it could well as be what makes that big change so you can just start heading out in that new direction that you have dreamed about but were afraid to take that step previously in your life. Angel of Soul Love. Time to look at how you value yourself and issues of self-love. It's time to start 
focusing on yourself, focusing on your thoughts. Don't allow anything negative to ruin the moment or damper your movement forward in any way. You need to love yourself before another person can love you. If you have issues about that or if you have any feelings of not being good enough or um, feeling that you're falling short of what another person would want in you or what you can accomplish in life, you really need to get over that because this card is saying that you have to overcome those feelings about yourself. Your soul love. Love yourself first and foremost before you can really extend any love to anyone else because there's always going to be something that blocks it. There's a certain calling that you are hearing, and it's coming from your soul. It's a divine life path, and you are embarking on that now because you are listening to that particular call that's coming in from your angelic guides. Do not be afraid to move forward. Spirit has your back. All right, Gemini. Have a wonderful month, and I'll talk to you again next month. Bye for now.